Hi, today I've connected this JID XI to use it as a MIDI keyboard. These are my settings for Windows Universal Amiga emulation. But it says MIDI offline. Anyway, it works perfectly and without any delay. So this is the zero waveform from a total of zero waveforms in the wave table. I guess it counts one waveform at least, but anyway. This is how we can add or delete waveforms from the wave table. By clicking on this add here or add last buttons. We access the waveforms in the wave table clicking in this minus or plus buttons. When deleting the current or last waveform of the table, beware because the undo function does not work for this. I'm creating a total of 10 waveforms, or A in hexadecimal value. Waves could be different lengths too. I'm putting a sine wave in all of them. And give them some hand touch with a pixel mix settings. For now, I can only hear the zero wave as I play the keyboard. I've done this silly thing to quickly have 10 slightly different waveforms. And yes, this column is the waveform list. Here, we put the waveforms we want to be heard. Plain numbers like this zero refer to the wave table position. Remember to turn on edit to change the waveform list. We can insert or delay positions using the computer keyboard or these two buttons. I set the list to play the first four waveforms in order. To change the speed at which the waveform list moves, first click in this waveform number so it appears in white, and then use the same two arrows we did for the volume list. Here we set the number of pulses that each step of the list lasts. Now I want to put the rest of the waves into the list from the 4 to the A. To save time there is this generate transition button which adds all the steps between the last and the current waveform number.
I'll generate another transition from the A to the zero wave, so we hear the whole wave table forth and back. And by pressing the J key and putting this jump command to make it jump to the first position, creating a loop. Let's play some chords using the four channels of the Amiga. We can only draw on one waveform at a time, of course, so sometimes it's better to pad just a waveform in the list and tweak it live. Now let's see something exciting. We can have lots of waves, but I think 8 will be enough for this test. I'll set the waveform A to be a sine wave, and I'm going to make a morph between this sine wave and this wave we draw on waveform 0. That's how it works this great transform feature. Being at the zero waveform, we press start. Then we move to the last wave and press the do button. And now the positions between are filled with these transition waves. Let's check how it sounds.
If you like that, you're gonna love this. Let's load a usual sample instrument. I'm aiming for the part where the robot says oh. I'm zooming in and selecting a small range using the right button. And here we have this tiny button that says range to synth. So press it. And then going back to a synth instrument, we'll find that same wave inside the edit buffer. I'm copying it to the first wave of the table. And now I'll try to grab the E sound from the robot voice. Maybe creating a loop will help to find this particular sound. And here it is. But now I realize there is an envelope waveform in the middle of this table. So I better put this in another place. Let's add more waveforms and copy the range 1 into the A wave. And the previous sample slice will be better on the waveform 2 position. So we can do that morphing between them two. It doesn't matter if I press start on the A wave and then go back to the 2 wave and press do. I mean the order doesn't alter the results. And now generate the waveform list to hear our creation. Bum, 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 bum,